Yes, definitely. My training camp in Florida, it was awesome. Um, I had a lot of great sparring, but world champions, former world champions, those that are now coming up. So it was a really good variety of people that I worked with. So I think that whatever um, Anastasia brings to the table, I think I'm prepared for it. Well, I am confident, and yes, I'm also a little bit nervous. Um, you know, usually the butterflies are there. Um, I think this is like about the worst time before a fight for me. After all the hard training is done, I actually waited for fight night when I don't have to concentrate on, you know, a hard session tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. It's just it gives me a lot of time to think. So that way, I try. I try not to think about the actual fight itself because I don't want to go in there with, you know, any preconceived ideas about how the girl is going to fight or what she's going to do, not going to do, and how I'm going to respond. So I try to keep my mind clear, um, you know, so when I go in there, whatever she does, I can respond to it as best as I can. I don't want to, I don't like thinking about it. So yeah, a little bit of nervousness mixed with, um, quiet but strong confidence of knowing um, that I'm going to do my best because I trained really hard for it. I don't know as yet if there are going to be like foreign judges and how many. I expect that there would be neutral judges and I, I also prefer it because when there are neutral judges and the, the fight is close and it goes, you know, the hometown person's way, they Usually, um, the foreigners say that you know they were cheated and robbed and whatever. Um, for the Anna Fernandez fight, we did have neutral judges. Um, it went my way. I was, as I put it, I was tired and fettered. <laughs> you know, I was not the official. I, I did not judge a fight. And then for the Tata fight, when I mean, a lot of people saw that I won the fight without any doubt. Um, it was ruled as a draw. And, then no one blamed the judges. No, I'm um, sorry, no one blamed Tata, they blamed the judges. So it's ironic that for the Ana Fernandez fight, they blamed me. And then for the Tata fight, when it went, went against me, they blamed the judges. So it's, you know, I just, my focus is to go in there, give the best performance that I can give, and hopefully the results will fall in place. I, I hope that the judges, you know, they, um, they judge fairly. Um, it's two warriors going to be in there, giving it their all, and I hope at the end of the night, um, you know, the best woman wins. <laughs> no, I don't talk to them because they don't respond, but I think I harass my coaches endlessly. Um, you know, I text them, I, I keep in touch with, with both of them, um, especially when Bonnie is here. You know, she has a very common effect. Um, my local coach, uh, Bart Ramatan, he's usually pulling out a little bit of hair <laughs> that he has left, you know, running around, making sure the, um, the arena is set, the ring is prepared, everything is done. And um, so Bonnie is the one that usually has the time, so I text her, I'm like, hey, look, I'm feeling this, I'm thinking this, and she has a really good common effect on me. So I, I think that's what I do. I try to keep my mind clear, and if I can't keep it clear, then I harass them. That's the liberty I have. Well, um, to be honest, I can't say much on that because you know I haven't been here for the past three weeks. I don't know if any new sponsors came on board or not. But the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs is uh, they have played a, a huge role. I know that uh, I think the bulk of sponsorship uh, came from the Ministry, my whole members club. club they always um, you know first on on board to assist and whatever way that they can. Um, we have had, well, my gym here, Fine Line Fight Factory, they um, sponsored part of my training camp and that's the only way it was made possible for me to go to Florida. As for the rest of the card, I, I really can't say, but you know, it's always a struggle and I think corporate Trinidad and Tobago, we still have room for anyone who wants and who can afford to contribute to the uh, promotion because, you know, it's really very expensive and um, it takes a lot. So. Uh, fan wise and support in that way well since I came back the well less than 24 hours that I've been back I have been having a lot of calls I think that the crowd is it's supposed to have a good crowd I just want to remind people that it is Friday night not Saturday a lot of people are accustomed with the competitions being on Saturday but this time it is on Friday night this Friday day after tomorrow so well I don't know when you're showing this interview but <laughs> Friday 29th July <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, so um, come on out, show your support. It's gonna be a fantastic night of fights all around. Um, we had a press conference earlier today, and um, it was very interesting. Um, funny though that we're um, we are very much alike in terms of parliament. I think um, we we will, we're not the trash talking type. Um, we made no predictions, so we're very respectful and professional to, to each other. And um, I, you know, what I'm going to say to her is, coming out there, I'm looking forward to a good, clean fight. And I know that you trained hard, and so did I. And it's good. I know that you're going to bring your A game. So I'm telling you, bring it because I am. I probably I'll ask her maybe after the fight I'll probably ask her. Maybe if I get a chance tomorrow to come tell us. If I'm intimidated by her experience, no. I've had my fair share of travels and Anastasia, she is very, very well traveled. I have to say that looking at her record, she has fought like in most parts of the world, you know. Um, I the thing is, in order for me to get to the world champion, and the girl that I'm looking at is a Japanese girl who holds the one of AWBC title, I have to get past the contenders. And Anastasia is a very, very noteworthy opponent. Um, she's a top challenger, a top contender. And hey, if I want to be the best, I have to fight the best. And if I can't get past a contender, then I have no right challenging a champion. Um, that being said, it would also defeat an Anna would all Anna stay <laughs> um, You know, it would also show me where I am and, and what more work I need to do if there's more work that needs to be done to get to the world champion and um, it would boost my confidence and you know, all in all, I am really excited about fighting her. I, I think she's like the most experienced fighter besides Richard Hammond.